a micro Bitcoin miner fit in the palm of your hand. It's like the size of my finger. $49.99. You could be mining Bitcoin, the biggest cryptocurrency worth trillions of dollars. Traded throughout the world, used throughout the world, even has ETFs and is putting out around $50 million in earnings for Bitcoin miners every single day. This is going to give me a chunk of that. Do I mine on a mining pool? Do I solo mine? Let's dig into it. It's freezing outside, but it's nice and toasty in the garage. Why though? Because I'm mining in here. And I just got a couple new miners in from Altair, which I'm pretty excited about. We've got the Nerd Miner V2, and we got our second bit ax but this is the bit x supra with the enhanced cooling capabilities so that's going to be sweet i'm also making a new review on the avalon nano 3 which is another mini bitcoin miner and there's another new model of something on the way so this week i've been testing so many mini bitcoin miners from the canon nano 3 to the Bidax Ultra, to the Bidax Gamma, to the Lucky Miner Bidax Rip, and even the Brains Mini Miner. These BTC Lottery Miners have me so fired up that we spent all week working on solo luck. It's basically a solo Bitcoin mining calculator that you can input your custom data and get real-time estimates to mine a Bitcoin block. Check out the link in the video description below and let me know your thoughts on it. Exciting times for micro Bitcoin mining. We're gonna be focused on this little guy. So this is how it comes packaged in this U-line bag. Ugh. I used to always just tear stuff like that, but now the second need it. Age. No need to cut it that aggressively. And sometimes I like pull muscles, strain a muscle in my hand. I, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm a little more cautious. So this is how it's boxed. We can see the same decal here in both places. Lilygo, Shenzhen, electronics. Sounds like everything you see on a miner box. Setup instructions are here, which we will run through. We can see a couple connection points here. Nice cover on the screen. Keep it nice and fresh. Nice. I have this power supply from when I got my original uh, Avalon Nano 3 in. And that's where we did our review on the, the $99 Bitcoin miner. This nerd miner is even cheaper. So we've got this little dinky cable better than nothing, I guess. I'll just use the attached one to plug it in. So this is it, the, the mini Bitcoin miner that's $49.99. My initial impressions, it feels sturdy enough for what it is. It looks cool enough. I would love to see it come with a power supply, but you don't need much of a power supply to power this. So I, I see why they just make it simple and you've got to grab your own. I mean, this is something that could be ran off a phone charger, like a old, easy, simple one. This is the exact listing. We are an affiliate with Altair, so please consider using our link. Altair is a US-based Bitcoin mining hardware operation. We've been working with them as an affiliate for a couple years now, and they've been a great supporter of the Bosscoin channel. More importantly, don't forget to punch in our coupon code, Bosscoin, to save some coin. Whether you want the latest and greatest Bitcoin miner like the S21 XP, not only do they have it, they have it in stock here in the US, you can get it in a couple of days. If you want best in class mini miners, right? Like the Bitax Gamma, yeah, they got those too. And of course, they sell the Nerd Miner that we're reviewing here today. This is the V2 version. It consumes a whopping one watt of electricity, right? So you'd have to get you'd have to get a different cable which this does come with but like you can run this on the ancient iphone brick chargers that probably everybody has one of it also works on wi-fi this is your chance to win 3.125 btc every 10 minutes while leaving a minimal footprint of energy consumption a whopping one watt 
It's called lottery mining. And that's a good breakdown of it. Every 10 minutes, somebody hits a Bitcoin block reward. It could be you if you're in the mining game. So I just scan the QR code with my phone. And then I open my browser. And it brought me right here. So I'll configure the Wi-Fi. I can see my Wi-Fi popped up up here. So I'll just click that and input my password. So I had to go grab my Bitcoin address and I needed to copy it. And then when I closed it to go and pull that, uh, I lost my place. So let's try again. And then I'm gonna go down here to my Bitcoin address. I'm gonna paste, I'm gonna save that. And I'll just leave it on public pool. This is so easy. I mean, you saw what I just did. That's how you set up the Nerd Miner V2. Mining Disrupt is having their seventh Bitcoin Mining Expo in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, March 25th, and it goes through March 27th. Link in the video description below. Don't forget the coupon code VOSCOIN to save some coin. Now we can see the hash rate. Should be tracking historical hashes, which I am a total nerd. I absolutely love that. Please understand how tiny this is though. This thing's hashing at kilohash, right? There's hashes, kilohashes, mega hashes, giga hashes. Oh, um, and then terahashes. It's reportedly supposed to be at 55 kilohash a second. But with the V2 and updates, these normally hash over 75 kilohash a second. I clicked the button in the top right, and, and this is pretty cool, right? Something fun to keep on your desk. Uh, it shows me the Bitcoin price, the current time, the hash rate, and the current block. I clicked it again and I can see global stats here. The current block height for Bitcoin, the global hash rate, the fee, difficulty, price, and then it kind of jams the uh, clock up there in the corner as well. Click it again and I get this screen in basic readout. Click it again, I get the initial screen that we had. Uh, and what I absolutely love about this is it's cool to see the uptime, but it's even cooler to see the cumulative hash rate. Click it again, we end up on the clock miner. I click the bottom button and it turns the screen off. However, the device should still be online. Click that same button again, and we're back. If you're looking for a fun gift for someone who likes crypto and Bitcoin at all, Honestly, th this is great. This is fun. I mean, we do mining for real here at Bosco. Like, we have a mining farm. I just got an S21 XP in today. That does 270 terahash a second. Look at the comparison of 270 terahash a second to 77 kilohash a second on Bitcoin mining, which is the SHA-256 mining algorithm, which to be clear, remember, this is a BTC miner. It only mines for Bitcoins, that's it. You can't get this and try to mine Dogecoins or something else like that. It would need a different configuration and potentially just simply hardware in order to do that. There are other options and ways to get more hash for the dollars you would spend, right? If you wanna spend more, you can get something like the Bidax. It's using potentially latest generation chips in it, but it carries a premium for that. So more performance, more money. You can of course always go out there and buy a full blown Bitcoin miner. You can also buy something like the Avalon Nano, which we've reviewed here on the channel. Uh, but originally priced at 99, once you finally get that thing, which went up to like 129, and then you and, and then shipping and a power brick and stuff. Before you know it, that thing costs like 150, 200 bucks or more if it's bought from a reseller. Uh, so it's not 50 dollars. You're not going to buy that for 50 dollars before using a coupon code like ours, which is shameless plug, pat on the back, best in class, campaign for it, appreciate it. You're not gonna get a compact unit for that price just shipped to your house. In stock, readily available here in the US of A, as well as throughout the world. There's no denying that the Nerd Miner is a very cool device. Surprisingly has Wi-Fi support, a multicolored screen using a measly one watt. But when it comes to Bitcoin solo mining, you should really turn your focus to the BitX Gamma. This is an open source Bitcoin miner that you can buy them made or you can also buy the parts yourself 
and DIY to put it together. That's cool. But the actual reason I'm bringing the bit axe up right now in a Nerd Miner V2 review is gonna be the fact that it takes about 12,800 Nerd Miner V2s running. Did you hear me? Like 13K to equal just one single bit axe gamma. Yes, one bit axe gamma that's a couple hundred bucks is more powerful than 12,800 Nerd Miner V2s that are 50 bucks. The Nerd Miner is a fun stocking stuffer. But if you want to grab a mini Bitcoin miner that actually has a chance, like one in 14,800, compared to one in 200 billion, I think the numbers make it clear. But this is where it gets crazier. There's a nerd axe. Yeah, <laughs> the maniacs have done it again. Someone mashed a nerd miner and a bit axe, and they had a little nerd axe baby. And those things look sweet. The problem is they're more expensive and there's much lower supply. I don't have one yet, uh, but I'm ordering one because I think they're cool and I just kind of want it in my miner collection. A couple months ago, I was kind of hating on little devices like this. Uh, but, you know, maybe I was just grumpy in the bear market. The situation has changed dramatically. It's fun to see the Bitcoin price. It's been going up instead of down or sideways, which I suffered through, among many others, for years. And things are looking good. Things are looking bullish. So I would love to have the display where it shows me the price in real time. I'm like, oh shit, maybe we're going to hit all-time high. Because we're hitting all-time highs again. That's incredible. F yeah. This thing's cool and it's the perfect gift. No, it's not a, it's not a real full-size miner. If you want to buy a full-size Bitcoin miner that's brand new, current generation, you're going to be spending probably around $4,000. If you're about that, do it. But if you want to spend 50 bucks and have fun and have this very tiny percentage chance to hit the lottery but with Bitcoin, well, this is going to be your ticket. It's a fun device. I'm honestly impressed with the build quality. Wasn't expecting too much right for the money, but I'm impressed with the build quality, but more importantly, the ease of setup. If you just have your Bitcoin address copied and when you scan that QR code, bang, you are, go you are set, you are done. You are gonna be off to the races with that thing. So that's the Boss Coin review on the Nerd Miner V2. You're on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I hope you subscribe and stick around as we try to learn more, earn more. I um, always try to get my capital deployed, earn a passive income, among all these other things. And uh, if you need it somehow, another reason, have you met our CTO, the Chief Treat Officer here, arrested at Dowish Tales? I run 10 seconds of tales on every video, and that's how we're going to close this video out in style. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video.